Hey everyone, it's Vegas, and I thought I would do a quick video on UAVS. Like, what the heck happened? I mean, everybody was waiting for some scoop, and we wanted to know who is this client. Well, let's talk about that. Okay, so I just want to just quickly review here. When I made the video last week about UAVS, I explained what was the hype on the stock. And the reason that everybody was long on this, including me, because we all wanted to know if we were going to hear news about the client, the mystery client. And you know what? Look where the stock went. I mean, even on Monday, it opened up at 75 cents. Um, high of day was only 104 and it actually closed at 101. And then on Tuesday, it opened up at 93 cents. High, it barely moved. High of day was 99 cents, and then it went to 80 cents on the pullback. But then come Wednesday, the stock opened at 95 cents, and then it took off and went to 269, closed at 230. And then Thursday was the real juicy day where it went all the way to $5.15 and opened at 366. And then it had a low of the day here at 145. So I'm sure there's probably some bag holders on the stock, especially if they bought it at the high. Unless, of course, they cut their losses and got out at five bucks or high 480s or 90s and just took a quick loss. Um, but if they're still holding the stock, uh, there is still an opportunity here on the stock. But before we get into that, let's talk about the fact that, you know, this was alerted back in the 70s. You had a great opportunity to actually trade the stock, trade, I guess, what they call potential news and, you know, trade it safely and have a mental stop loss or a hard stop loss. And you would have still made even 100 percent on the trade. So if you made more than that, congratulations. I mean, from my post to here, I mean, 582 uh, percent. That is an amazing trade, but that doesn't mean everyone held up to this level. A lot of you might have sold sooner, and that is okay. Nothing wrong with trading green. We are not competing with other traders on social media, and you're just here to trade, make your money, get out and take your money, and go into the next opportunity that's presented. But I want to talk to you guys about this ridiculous conference call. Okay, so here we are on the company's website, and you can see, you know, I kind of like the feel of the website, but you know, we don't really care about that right now. Let's go here to the investors tab, and let's go on to news and events, and we can see that, remember, we had the news here that there's going to be a conference on April 30th, and we've already talked about that, but you know what? What a big disappointment. Now, the day of the conference, I did not listen to the whole thing because I got to tell you, I already heard what I needed to hear and they never told us who the heck's the client. We still don't even know. All we know is that they're still working on the commercial drones for a package delivery company. They have not disclosed who it is. The other thing too is that the CEO mentioned he was resigning and going to be going to the board and obviously one of the founders and let's go back to, you know, the leadership team here for a quick second here. So Brett Chilcott, he's the founder, you know, he was selling drones from his car and uh, he's obviously retiring. And you know what? He's had enough. You know, he needs to retire, and enjoy his life a little bit. Barrett Mooney also resigning, but he's going to be on the chairman of the board. So he'll be replacing Brett's role. And um, we have a new person that's joined the company and let's take a look at him. So if we go to the investors tab, we have a new CEO. Let's check out who this guy is. So if we look him up here, we have a new PR and uh, his name is Michael Drods. Okay, so here's a picture of Michael Drods. You know, he was a former CEO at a company called Wright, R-Y-T-E, and you know, he was very involved in the marijuana CBD, and um, the, you know, this was a company that was managing the processing and, um, of uh, the different brands. So now he's obviously over here at, uh, at uh, AG Eagle, 
and uh, he's at UAVS. He starts the job this week, and so he's hopefully going to do something interesting because, as you can see, previously when he was a president, uh, he grew revenues from two hundred ten thousand to twenty million in just over three years. Uh, he's got a fantastic track record. He's obviously got an, a degree in electrical engineering. And um, he also has a master's degree in optical engineering. So he's a really smart guy. He's also got his PhD in electrical and computer engineering. So this guy knows his stuff. So I'm expecting to see some action from this company. And um, also just to mention um, that during the call when I was listening to it, Barrett Mooney, who's going to be going to chairman of, of the board, you know, they asked him, why are you leaving the company? Why are you leaving your role as a CEO? And he just basically said for personal reasons. And we don't really know what that is. Like, is he have a medical issue, family medical? Who knows? And really, um, you know, he's still in the company. So, and you know what, guys? He's made so much money because you have to remember, he's already sold previous startups he's had. I mean, this guy is so rich that um, he doesn't need to be the CEO um, and he can be on the chairman of the board and that is why he's hired someone else. He doesn't need to justify why he doesn't want to be the CEO. He maybe wants to pursue other things on the side. Maybe he wants to be an angel investor. So anyways, let's talk about the chart now. So if you look at this chart here, you can see that uh, I mean the very low supports here down in the you know, penny land, but you know what? The stock did close here on Friday at $1.32. So definitely keep on watch. We want to kind of see if we can break the high of day at 145. So that's going to be, you know, kind of the resistance here, 145, 150. I actually think that what's going to happen with the stock when I look at the weekly chart, we see here, here's what happened here. All the hype came in, the stock ran and had a great day. And then the same day the stock tanked and pulled back and that's because people were not happy with the news that doesn't mean this is a crappy company so keep that in mind the weekly chart actually is still nice because the stock was going on an uptrend yeah it's because of the hype but at the same time the fundamentals of the company don't change they're still working on things we still don't know who this client is keep this on your watch list um, I do believe that we're going to have a range expansion on the stock so I really want to see I'm going to have an alert set for the one dollar and fifty cent break if that breaks we could see maybe in the uh, two dollars two thirty and then I'll reassess the trade and go from there so for now this is still on watch some people are watching it for a break of around two dollars and that's fine you have to trade what works for you I'm going to be watching for the break of 150 and for sure a break of the high of 145 and see what happens at that point and uh, looking to trade this again as a swing trade so I will be looking to take a position tomorrow uh, May the 4th depending on how the stock opens up and how it um, performs throughout the day if there's any kind of dips I'm thinking I'm gonna be adding to the position so I will post on social media when I do take the trade and currently don't have any shares left of this, but definitely watching for this to have another swing trade uh, opportunity. I still really like this chart. So on that note, have a great night. Hopefully uh, you guys trade green tomorrow or this week and uh, have a great trading day. Take care and see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that like button. I'll be making some more videos for you all. Thank you so much. I appreciate everyone's comments. I'm really happy that some of you did share with me uh, through social media and through the comments on YouTube um, that you did very well on this trade. And that's great. And that is the whole point of sometimes making video content is to kind of show you opportunities for trading. You know, some people said, oh, this is a pump and dump. You know what? There is nothing to pump. People knew that this call was coming. People made assumptions that there could be announcing that the uh, client might be Amazon. This is all, you know, potential assumptions. Again, subject to, um, you know, news, but they didn't disclose nothing. So, you know, you sometimes can call it what you want, but you know what? You trade the action, you trade the tape. Everybody 
was on this trade very early and uh, obviously had stop losses and exit strategies. I do want to just say one last thing. It's so easy sometimes to get into a trade and then the problem people have is knowing when to get out. So I will be talking about that in an upcoming video is, you know, helping you guys learn about opportunities to get out, scaling out your position, especially some people take heavy positions and then they don't even take any profits along the way. That is not the way to grow your trading account. So anyhow, hope you guys have a great night and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.